What do you have to know to pass the third subtest of the CSET multiple subjects exam? My name is Scott Roselle, founder of 242, and on this video, I'm gonna break down the third subtest of the CSET multiple subjects test. How do I know it's on the test? As the founder of 240 Tutoring, I've studied this test left and right, up and down, backwards and forwards to make sure that 240 Tutoring can offer the best study guide available, and I want to share the secrets I found out about the test with you in this video. So go ahead and keep watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. We want to continue making videos just like this for future teachers like you so you can pass your test and get it into the classroom. Now the third subtest of the multiple subjects exam focuses on three areas physical education, human development, and the fine arts. The physical education questions are gonna focus on how best to teach and engage students in physical education learning. Human development questions are gonna focus on students' development both emotionally and physically. And fine arts questions are gonna focus on dance, music, theater, and the visual arts. So let's take a look specifically at the physical education concepts you're likely to find on the test. Physical education skills are really gonna sit around body movement skills such as body awareness, space awareness, and movement exploration. Make sure you know about object manipulation, like throwing and catching a ball, and the basic concept of biomechanics that affect body movement, like how the body moves and the impact of gravity and friction on human movement. Also, questions are gonna focus on exercise physiology, like the benefits of exercise, how often a student should exercise, and the speed, intensity, and frequency in which students should exercise. Exercise physiology will also focus on concepts like flexibility, muscular strength, endurance, cardiorespiratory endurance, and body composition. And a huge aspect of physical education is engaging students with traditional or non-traditional games. So make sure you brush up on the different types of acceptable physical activity games you can play. And the questions are gonna measure how well you can choose a game based on your student group regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, religion, ability, or disability. Now, physical education kind of melds with human development in that you need to understand a child's physical development so you can best engage them on physical activities. For these questions and concepts, you should know the basic trajectory of an adolescent's development of fine motor skills, gross motor skills, as well as factors that influence development, such as exercise, relaxation, nutrition, stress, substance abuse, etc. Also, you should know how physical activity and physical education impacts a student's self-image and the value of establishing exercise habits early on in a young child's life. The big concept you need to know for physical education is what is physical ed education and why it's important. And I know that seems big, but it really encompasses the value of physical education and really physical activity on the human body and how it can promote a stronger, better self-efficacy later in life. Human development questions are gonna look at the cognitive, social, and physical development of adolescents. Cognitive development really looks at a student's understanding of reasoning, symbolic language, and problem solving. Knowing the stages of cognitive development and the limits of a child's learning at each stage is vitally important for ensuring that students get adequate instruction. Social development refers to a student's personality and temperament. That's gonna include things like attachment, self-concept, autonomy, and identity. A student's development can be influenced by many factors, a few of which are especially important. Genetic factors, organic, socioculture, socioeconomic, sex, and gender. You also need to know how abuse, physical, emotional, mental, and sexual can impact a student's development. The big concept you need to know for student development is Erickson's stages of development. This is gonna look at the cognitive development of the student and their mental capacity at each age in life. Now make sure that you understand that that is a general guideline and not hard and set rules. Some students develop more quickly, some students develop less quickly, but Erickson's stages of development will look at generally how students progress from one level of cognitive development to the next and the characteristics of each stage. If you're with us so far, you're doing great. We have one more section to cover, but go ahead, subscribe, like the video, make a comment, let us know how we're doing and if you're finding the video useful. For the fine arts, California has a very detailed but very useful handbook on how to teach the fine arts. It's the visual and performing arts framework and the student academic content standards. My 
biggest encouragement would be to go and review the booklet. You can find the link in the description, and that's gonna give you an idea about what kind of fine arts needs to be taught at which grade depending on the subject. It's a great second step in preparing for the fine arts test. The first step is watching the rest of this video. For each of the arts, dance, music, theater, and visual arts, you need to understand that art is created for a purpose. And that purpose is to communicate a message. And depending on the medium, whether it's dance, music, theater, or visual arts, the artist or the creator has different tools in which to communicate their message. Understanding those tools and how they're used is basically gonna be the foundation of almost every question on the fine arts concepts. And to give you some examples, in dance, it could be things such as space, time, the levels, and the energy and force of movements. In music, it can be things like pitch, rhythm, timbre, and music concepts like the music notation. For theater, it's the acting, it's the directing, it's the set design, it's the script writing. And for art, it's the basic principles of art like balance, repetition, contrast, emphasis, and unity. The big concept you have to know for the fine arts questions is that art is created for a purpose and each medium has different tools in which to communicate their message. Understanding those basic tools is gonna to be key to answering those fine arts questions correctly. Now, if you have any questions about the test, leave a comment below. If you have any thoughts about the video, leave a comment below. Let us know how we're doing, what you liked, what you didn't like. It helps us keep creating videos for teachers just like you so they can pass their test and get in, into the classroom.